Hey, what is going on everyone? It is Kieran, the Master of Coin, and I'm super excited to share with you guys on the exact blueprint I used to completely retire myself back in 2019. Now, if you're watching this, it's because you're one of three people. Number one, you cannot for the life of you win a trade. You're always losing money, always blowing accounts, and you just feel completely lost. Or you're number two. You've been learning these strategies, but still cannot become as profitable as you want. You're stuck around that break-even point. Or you're number three, where you already got a good baseline, but what you need right now is to increase your risk to rewards so that you can increase the overall profitability of your trading. Now, I know you might feel lost or you might feel stressed. You might even just feel like giving up. Now, here's the thing. I felt the exact same way in 2018, in 2017, in 2016. All right, for three years, I was struggling in these markets and it felt like no matter what I was doing, I just couldn't win. You know, I tried every strategy. I brought all the courses, I tried all the indicators, and I just could not quite get my hands on that elusive profitability. It always felt like it was right there. I knew what I was doing, but for some reason, my trading account never reflected it. How did I go from that to actually quitting my job back in 2018 and now traveling around the world, living life on my terms, all because I mastered this skill set? Well, it was simple. When I say this skill set, there was an exact blueprint and a science because this whole thing wasn't by accident. And I'm going to give you guys that exact blueprint here today, completely free of charge. I mean, to be honest with you, I should be charging for this training, but you know what? I'm feeling generous. All I ask is take a screenshot, share this on your stories and tag me in it so that someone else who's in your situation right now can also benefit from this free training. Now, warning, because these free skills I'm about to share with you in this training, they have the power to completely revolutionize your trading. Now, if you are watching this for the first time, my name is Kieran Davis. I started trading back in 2016. Yep, I brought all the courses. I tried all the YouTube videos. And for some reason, just nothing seemed to work. Now, I tried buying so many courses, so many mentorships, and I always felt like there was a gap in my knowledge. I always felt like there was something I was missing. But today, I'm going to make sure that none of that is missing for you. Prior to trading, I was nothing special. I wasn't the smartest kid in school. I didn't come from a family of money. Matter of fact, we were so broke, it was me, my mom, my dad, my brother in a one-bedroom flat. But all I knew is that one day I'll be successful. So that mindset drove me to finding different opportunities. And when I come across trading, I realized that this can be a vehicle that can allow me to actually become free, do what I want when I want without having to answer to a boss or to go to a certain location and just do things I didn't want to do. I knew that it could give me freedom. And that's why I decided to go absolutely all in. Now, from there, like I said, I've tried so many courses. I got scammed by so many gurus, so many groups. And I just felt like it was always two feet from gold. I always felt like there was something else. And that was until I come across my first mentor. You see, my first mentor was someone who was actually trading on the senior trading floor at Citibank. And they actually broke down to me key metrics and key skills that these institutional level traders actually use in their day-to-day -day trading. And the thing is, none of it was the conventional bullshit we was being taught. You know, what are we taught? Hey guys, use higher highs and higher lows for market direction. They didn't use any of that. What they use is simply three things, which I'm going to break down for you today. And once you get a grip on this, all you need to do is give yourself time. Because right now you're here in your journey and you have a goal where you want to get over there. And the only difference between where you're at right now here and over there, well, is just the letter T. T just stands for time. It means things I must experience. So the first thing you got to understand is you need to have a strong enough reason why into why you're going to master and give yourself as much time as needed. You know, when I started, I didn't tell myself, oh, I'm going to give it three months, six months, and then I'm going to quit if I'm not profitable. No, I said, I'll do this until I become successful. You have to focus and follow one course until successful. Now, by the end of today's video, you're going to have an exact blueprint and an exact guide to completely shortcut your learning process. So you haven't got to go through all the noise. You haven't got to go through all the fluff. So you can get right to the meat of it and really take your trading to the next level. And it's crazy because this blueprint has worked for so many of my students all across the world. For example, one of my guys, Maxwell, I remember when we come across each other. He was telling me how he tried so many courses. He tried so many mentorships and none of it felt like he actually understood what was happening. None of it was bringing him success. Once I taught him these three skills, after about two and a half months, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even hear from him anymore. He just ghosted me, just fell off the face of the earth. And it was quite funny, actually, because I was in front of my computer and he just FaceTimes me and he didn't even say anything. I'm just like, bro, like, where you been, man? You just ghosted me for a few months. Like, what's going on? And he didn't even say anything. He just turns the camera around and he showed me his FTMO dashboard. On that dashboard, he withdrew over 42,000 US dollars. And when I asked him, bro, how did you do that? He said, bro, 
All I did was apply those three key skills you taught me. Or we can also talk about one of my other students, Nathan. Nathan already had a profitable baseline, right? He wasn't losing all these trades. However, he still felt like something was missing. He wasn't catching the risk to rewards like us. He wasn't trading the market facts. He didn't understand all three of these skill sets. Since Nathan's been working with us, he's now grown his personal trading account to over 180,000 Great British Pounds. Now look, I can go on all day about different testimonials, different success stories, but that's not why we're here. We're here to learn the three key skill sets that you need to learn to become a full-time profitable trader. So with no further ado, let's get into the first skill set that allowed me to become a full-time trader back in 2019. So let's imagine we're on the chart. How are we usually going to use market direction? Well, what we're going to do normally is what? Say higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. All right, and we're going to start looking to buy. Or maybe we see a break of structure and now we're looking to sell. All right, that's what we're all taught. But if we're all taught the same thing, why are we all losing? Because this is not how you tell market direction. The first skill set you need to know is how to trade market facts. You see, all these technical based strategies are not facts. It's all opinions. It's all ambiguous. One person can read this chart and say it's an uptrend. One person can read the chart and say, oh my God, we're about to enter a downtrend. One person can look at this and say, wait a minute, now we're consolidating. One person can look at this and say, now we're distributing. There's so many opinions that can be formed. So again, how do we trade the market facts? I was actually highly blessed to come across one of my mentors who was trading at the senior level at Citibank. The first thing he taught me is that when these guys trade, they don't use technicals. And this is where I came across skill one of fundamental analysis. So with fundamental analysis, what you've got to understand is that we're looking at market facts, right? We're looking at the state of the economy. We're understanding key principles that are going to help us determine whether that economy is in risk on or risk off sentiment. And all that means is very simple. If you're risk on, you're going to know that money is going to flow out of that currency and flow into risk assets. For example, if the US dollar enters a risk on environment, investors will realize, wait a minute, it's no longer worth our time because our yield, our return on investment is now getting lower. So they're going to want to put their money where? Where they get the highest yield, the greatest return on investment. So they will begin to pull their money out of the dollar and put it into assets that give them a better return on investment, such as the stock market, such as cryptos, such as euro, such as the pound. Maybe the Australian dollar, maybe the New Zealand dollar. But this is why we have to pay attention to the key factors and the key principles that tell us and determine whether that economy is risk on or risk off. Now, once we know whether we're risk on or risk off, we can now determine market direction without needing to look at a chart. Yes, you don't need to look at a technical chart to know if it's going to go up or down. So once we can understand where these investors are putting their money, that's going to influence the price. So if investors are now beginning to pull their money out of the dollar, of course, we're going to look into be sell dollar pairs and now starting to buy dollar crosses. But again, without understanding the key fundamental and economic principles that are determining if it's risk on or risk off, we're never going to be able to know if that currency pair is going up or down from a factual standpoint. Now, when you use technical analysis, like, like we said earlier, Right? It's very easy to get lost in the noise and get caught up in the chop. You know, how many times we'd be looking at this market and saying, okay, right, we've had an uptrend, right? Maybe we've entered the distribution, we've now begun to break structure and now entered the downtrend. So we come in, we start finding some reasons to start selling, and all of a sudden we go to sell and bang, we're getting stopped out. It's because again, technical factors can change. It's very easy for these institutions to manipulate the markets in a way to entice you to do certain things. But when you're looking at the actual facts, the actual economic data, that cannot be manipulated because it's measuring the true strength and true health of the actual economy. So for example, what we can do is look at one factor, which is inflation. The rest of the factors are covered in depth in the whole mentorship. And of course, if you want access to that, you're more than happy to set up a call with me and we'll have a chat about everything. But if we take a look, right, when we see inflation begin to start falling, right, from September 2022, how convenient is it that the high of the dollar is set and then we enter a massive, massive sell-off on the US dollar up until when? End of July. What happens at the end of July? Oh, inflation begins to uptick. When inflation begins to uptick at the end of July, what happens to the dollar? It begins to appreciate in value. And then what happened? Why did the dollar begin to start selling off recently? Because again, look, inflation began to fall at the end of October. And how convenient is it that the end of the October... Over here is the exact high that the market prints before entering another bearish market. 
It's crazy because when one of my students, Chelsea, once she began to learn these fundamental principles, she was now trading market facts. Before she began to implement this, her win rate was terrible. She was sitting in a low 15% win rate. It was absolutely atrocious. You know, she would take 10 trades, maybe win one or two. Terrible win rate. But once she began to understand the true market facts, the real things that drive price, her win rate skyrocketed. Her win rate is now sitting at 67%. And she's only been using these principles for three months. And it's all because she began to focus on the right things that actually drive the market. So that was the first skill set, fundamental analysis. Once I began to master the economic principles and the real things that actually drive the market, now I could tell without even looking at a chart, the true direction based on facts. And now I could approach the chart with confidence and clarity because I was focused on the real things that influence price rather than just technical mumbo jumbo that I was getting spoon fed by people who didn't even know what they were doing. Once I started to master fundamentals and learn those principles, I had to spend a lot of time back testing that data. You see, here's the thing. You can't just learn something once and instantly trust it and apply it because you need to have it proven to you. So before I actually put it on live capital, what I did is spent time. I spent so many hours going back, back testing it in different historical environments to find out situations when it worked and situations when it didn't work. And based on that, it helped me get the right expectations and just see it again. You know, like so, what gets repeated gets remembered. And sometimes it's not that you're doing the things wrong. You just haven't done enough of it just yet. You know, if like if you flipped a coin, right, you wouldn't, you wouldn't flip it once, get heads and say, oh, that coin is 100% determined by heads. What you would do is increase your data, increase your sample size, flip the coin more. And the more you flipped it, the more you'd start to realize, oh, it's 50-50. Same thing with the fundamentals. Right. Once you obviously it's not 50 50, but once you begin to see it once, that's not enough. You've got to see it again and again and again. So do you have undeniable, unwavering, unshakable confidence that you're now trading market facts because you're seeing the facts actually work? And that brings us on to the second skill set, which was now I had to learn technical analysis. So what we need to do in the second skill set is become a proficient analyst. So when we look at the chart, when we look at the technical analysis, we can determine when it's time to get in, where to put our entry, where to put our stop loss and where to put our take profit. And having set of principles and a set of rules to follow is what allows you to do that. Now, here's the thing. What I found in my journey was I was learning from all these different sources, all these different courses, all these different gurus and educators, and none of it worked. I was getting loss after loss after loss. I felt like I tried everything and nothing seemed to work. It was because my approach towards the market was not consistent. That stemmed from a lack of consistent education. Well, I was learning from all these gurus, all these different places. And this is what I did to actually become profitable. I found one person who had the exact results I wanted and I copied their trading plan to a T. I didn't try to reinvent the wheel. All I did was copy it because it worked for them. So it will work for me if I apply it correctly. You know, for me, support and resistance and SMC and ICT, it was just lacking something. And what it was, was lacking the understanding of Wyckoff, which is the study of how bigger institutions begin to fulfill their orders. So if you want, if you want to learn exactly how I do that, I'm going to break down that right now. So if you remember earlier, right, I mentioned my buddies at Citibank. So when these guys actually trade, they use algorithmic trading. They're not using technical analysis. They're not using ICT or order blocks or any of that rubbish. What they're doing is because remember, they trade so much money for them to physically get their orders filled. They can't go on MetaTrader 4 like us and just, you know, drop 10 lots, 20 lots, 30 lots. They're trading hundreds of thousands of lots because they're trading so much money. So what will happen is when they do that, that's physically going to influence and move the market. So what they have to do is accumulate their orders or distribute their orders over time, which I'm going to explain to you today. It's going to be very simple. Once I started to understand this, I didn't need any other strategy anymore because, again, I was looking at the market facts. Now, you might have come across ICT or smart money concepts or, you know, all this stuff online. It's all just trying to understand the institutional algorithm that is actually moving the market. So I want you to imagine each one of these black lines represents a price in the market. Each line, the bigger the line is, means that there's more orders rest in that area. It's very simple because the cheaper price goes, right? When price gets lower and lower and lower, do more people want to buy? I mean, you tell me if something's cheaper, would you rather buy something at £10 or £9? 
or eight pounds or seven pounds or six pounds. Of course, right? You'd want to get the cheapest price possible. And it's the exact same thing with the institutions. They want to get the cheapest price possible. But at each level, there's going to be a certain amount of orders that are resting there. For example, now we don't need to know the exact numbers. Just follow along with me. So when they want to fill their orders, right, for the market to actually travel higher, there has to be more buyers than sellers. Very simple. So what they have to do is come down to certain areas where buy orders are resting so that they can fill all of their buy orders and more buyers than sellers can enter the market to then drive price higher. So let's just say in this example, let's keep it simple. Let's say there needs to be 100 buyers in the market for the market to continue higher. Right, when the market's obviously trending down, there's clearly no buyers in the market, otherwise it would be going higher. Then what will happen is they'll enter an area of demand. Why, they, why is there demand? Well, because of the fundamental factors, which we mentioned earlier. From there, you'll see reactions. Now, if there's only a small amount of orders at this area because it's £10 and most people are waiting cheaper, and that's what the lines represent, those black lines represent more orders. The bigger the line, the more orders there are, the more people are waiting to buy at those areas. We ain't going to see a massive reaction, are we? Because there's not a lot of orders here. But as we come lower, what are we going to begin to see? More people start to buy. 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 Until they filled all of their orders. And once all their orders are filled, then the market will go in its direction. But how do we use that to actually trade? How are we going to know when these buy orders are coming in or where they're going? That's where we can start to understand the Wyckoff methodology, because Wyckoff is the study of how these institutions actually add or remove their orders from the market. Because remember, this strategy has been around for hundreds of years. This has been around since the 1800s, right? Again, this is a great website. You can go to learn a little bit more about it. But what Wyckoff is, again, is understanding where areas where prices oversold so they can begin to accumulate, add orders into the market and eventually distribute and add sell orders into the market. That's all they're trying to do, buy or sell. And the way it will manifest is via these Wyckoff schematics over here. Now, I know this looks a bit crazy, but if you remember what we explained earlier, all they're doing is just seeking cheaper price points to add buy orders. Don't worry about all these little labels for now, right? Once you join the mentorship, again, all this will be taught. However, all these different small phases is just parts of their order being filled because they're trading so much money, they can't put it all in one area because there's not enough orders waiting there. It's like if I said to you, oh, go to the shopping mall and buy me 100,000 apples. You can't buy 100,000 apples if the store only has 10,000. What do you need to do? Go to the next store, go to the next store, go to the next store. And what the market will do, instead of going to the next store, it will go to a different price point to seek those orders before the move occurs. And this Wyckoff methodology appears everywhere. You see, this is how I catch all of my trades. Now, I know at first it seems a little bit confusing, but it's just like any sort of skill set. You become better at it, and it takes time to learn. You know, the first time as a kid, right, you tried to walk. Could you walk instantly? Of course not, right? The first time you tried to tie your shoes, could you tie your shoes? Of course not. First time you tried to drive a car, could you drive a car? Of course not. It all takes time to train your eyes, and that's where good mentorship comes in and, and good proper education. You know, I didn't learn all this stuff from Google. Because each person online is going to have different ways of approaching the market. And if you're going to all these different places online trying to learn and piece it all together, you're not going to become profitable. Why? Because you don't have a consistent approach towards the market. If you want a consistent outcome and a consistent income from the market where you're consistently winning trades, it's simple. What you put in is what you get out. So you need a consistent approach. You need a consistent education. See, what I did is I found one person who had the exact results I wanted, and I literally copied their trading plan to an exact T. I copied all of their methods, I copied all of their understanding, and I used that as a model for my trading. Now, of course, you can't learn everything in one training, right? There's going to be so many more videos that you need to go through. And of course, if you want to go through them, send me another message, tell me you've watched this training, and I'll get you the rest of the videos and get you onboarded. Now, the third skill set is psychology, and I could not underestimate the importance of this skill. You see, because it got to a point in my trading where I had my system, I had the fundamentals, and I understood the market facts. I understood that in the past, it always worked. I could backtest my socks off, and I always found entries, and I always found my trade playing out. 
However, when it came to the live market, I always found myself continuing to lose. I always found myself taking trades that went against my rules, breaking my plan, taking a trade in the moment I was like, yes, this is a great trade. And then shortly after, I was like, why did I even take that trade? And it was because I was unaware of how my psychology was influencing my decisions. Look, let me ask you this. How much time have you spent developing your technical system compared to developing your psychology and your emotions? Probably not the same. You see, we have to understand that we humans, right? well, I hope we're humans, <laughs> we've got two sides of our brain. You see, our left brain is responsible for logic, our analytical abilities, and we spend all our time developing that side. But why do we never develop our emotions? Why do we never develop our emotional intelligence? You see, it's like going to the gym and only training your left arm. If you just go to the gym and train your left arm, what's going to happen when you try to use both of them and do bench press? Right, you're going to be all fall over the place because one arm's stronger than the other. It's the same thing in trading. The reason why you're breaking your rules, the reason why you, are, you cannot apply the strategy correctly is because you're not working on your psychology. You see, what you have to realize is that we don't trade the markets. We trade our belief system about the markets. Meaning what? When you look at the chart, when you look at Euro USD or Bitcoin or whatever, you're not seeing the chart. You're seeing it through the lens of your emotion. You're projecting, your brain is projecting onto the chart what you want to see based on your belief system, your self-image, and your paradigm. And the problem is we've never spent time diving into these things, seeing how they influence our decision making. We're trying to bring a brain that is designed for short-term survival that tries to control and make things certain to a market where we can't control it and that is uncertain. So what happens is our brain goes crazy and then we react in two ways, either fear or aggression. We'll get fearful, not enter the trade, hesitate. Or we'll get too aggressive, enter the trade too early, risk too much. Take trades that don't even meet our trading plan because we've got that itch and desire to be in the market. And that's because we haven't spent time developing our psychology and developing our emotional brain. So what it looks like, once you begin to develop all three of these skill sets, your trading completely transforms. Because now you're conducting fundamental analysis and knowing from a factual standpoint where the market is going to be going without even needing to look at a chart. And now because you know those facts, when you open the chart based on your trading plan, you know exactly where to get in and where to get out. And you can follow that plan easily and effortlessly because now you've developed your psychology. Now you're not making any mistakes. Now you're not risking too much. Now you're not jumping in too early because you've developed all three of these skill sets. And what begins to happen is now your equity curve in your account begins to increase. Now you start to win in more trades. Now you start to pass your challenges. Now you start to hit consistent withdrawals. And now your whole trading is transformed. But to get to that point, you have to learn all three of these skills from the right place. And this is why I created the Master of Coin Mentorship, to give traders a place where they can learn all three skill sets that are required to actually master this skill set. Now, look, I'm not here to, to pitch this, right? If you want, you can go and try to learn all these skill sets by yourself. I don't need you to join the program. The only reason I'm even doing this program is because once my hedge fund launches, I'm going to want traders on my trading floor to trade capital for me. And there's nothing better than having traders that I know that I've created are profitable to trade my capital and obviously give them a profit split. Now, look, I'm not here to sell it to you because I don't know if you would even be a good fit for the program. I don't know if I can even help you in your specific situation. So what we can do is we can hop on a quick five to 10 minute phone call. We can have a chat to see if this is a good fit for you. If you want to do that, simply send me a message telling me you want to hop on a call. I'll send you a link. We'll book a call and we'll just have a chat. Now, warning, the program is not for everyone. In fact, I end up turning away over 60% of people who try to apply. I'm not looking to work with anyone. I'm looking to work with someone who's serious about getting their trading results, who is ready to invest in themselves and their future, and who's willing to be teachable and coachable. So if that's you, if you're teachable, you're coachable, you're willing to invest into your future and yourself, send me a message, we'll hop on a call and we'll have a chat. If not, that's totally fine. Take these three skill sets. Spend time developing fundamentals. Spend time developing your technical system. Spend time developing your psychology. 
And you know what? Since you stay to the end, I'm going to give you a bonus tip. And the bonus tip is journaling and refinement. You see, once you've got all these skill sets developed and you've got your plan, right? You have to begin to journal your trades. Write down the reasons for what you're doing and why you're doing it. Go back and reflect because pain plus reflection equals progress. There's going to be so many times you're going to make mistakes. So many times you're going to make errors. But you're only going to be able to change that and improve if you spend time reflecting and going back on the mistakes you're making. For example, one of my students, Dylan, he took 20 trades and he sample size. He lost 18 trades out of those 20 trades. Terrible. But what did we do? We journaled. We refined his strategy. We looked at why he's losing these trades and we began to tweak it. From there, he took another 20 trades. He then made 5% on his account. We then tweaked it some more. We then refined it some more. He then made 8% on his trading account simply from refining it. And it all comes down to that skill set of journaling and refinement. Now, of course, sometimes you do need a mentor. Sometimes you do need an extra set of eyes. Like for me, I'll be very honest. If it wasn't for my mentors going over my work and reviewing the work I was doing, mate, I wouldn't be nowhere right now. Why? Because I was actually applying things completely wrong. A mentor for me gave me a second set of eyes. It allowed me to look at my flaws, look at my mistakes that I could never see. You know, I didn't know that I was applying my strategy incorrect. I didn't know that my trades were breaking my rules. And without having that mentor, without having that second set of eyes, I would still be in the same place, still be broke, still be working my job, still be losing trade after trade after trade in that spiral of doom. So if you're still in that situation, what you're doing right now, unfortunately, isn't working. You need to do something different, right? If nothing changes, nothing changes. If you stay going down the path you're on, you're going to get more of what you have. If you're happy with the results you're experiencing right now, then great, keep doing what you're doing. But if you're not, if you want change and you want to change that, like I said, send me a message and we'll see what is possible and transform your trading. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all at the top, from the top, because the bottom is way too crowded. Sheesh.